All right. Welcome back to Impossible Versus Matches. We've been slowing down a little bit, and we're going to keep slowing down so I can do some other stuff. But um, I'm joined by my good friend, Jason. Hey, everybody. And Dylan, who hasn't been on the show in a while. Oh, it's been many moons, Mr. Jason. Welcome back, Dylan. How's everyone doing today? Pretty well, pretty well, pretty good, you know. Just Just enjoying the day. Just, you know, surviving each and every day in the apocalypse. Every day. Every single day. Yep. So, uh, just so that the listeners know, this recording session, so all of the um, soon coming future episodes with Jason and Dylan, we are recording this on Inauguration Day. So, if we don't mention anything topical, that's why. So we're going to be doing a few different episodes where uh, we're switching it up this time where we're actually going to talk about not only how they come together, but we're also going to actually debate on who would win. And I've got some preset um, preset matches here. And this one is a request from my friend Zach, who is on Instagram as let's pull up his suggestion. Why not? You know, man, this dude will like... He'll comment a suggestion and then we'll delete his Instagram like when I actually get to recording the episode. But no, anyway, I don't when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> don't you just like, hate it. Zach, do you want an Instagram or do you not want an Instagram? You have to decide. You can't just keep flip flopping. Um, but anyway, so we're actually going to talk about we're going to do a, a bit of a mob battle. It's um, the Corleones from the Godfather trilogy versus Marcellus Wallace from Pulp Fiction. And they both get their uh, they both get their respective gangs. Now I believe in his comment it was specifically Michael Corleone. Um, but I think we can go either way. We can discuss both, both when Vito is the godfather and when um, Michael is the godfather. So starting off, what do you guys think? The Corleones. Corleones. The Corleones. Because yep. here's the here's here's my thing. I don't, and don't, I'm, I'm sorry, Dylan, for interrupting. I'm just gonna just say this one thing, and I'll be done with it. Um, Marcellus Wallace, like, yes, he is a crime boss. He's an intimidating guy. He's not the Godfather. He's not the mafia. He's just a gangster that has hitmen that do that does what he wants. The Corleone family has like is a family organization that has you know is a mafia as in they have ties to different countries such as Italy and like corruption like among you know society and different things you know what I mean like they're just now like oh I'm, I'm a gangster that does what he does and I hire dudes to do what I want them to do the Corleone family is like an organization that is like you know organized because they're the oh, mafia yeah. and they just have more members yeah, I'm pulling it up because I wanted us to have a little bit of a in-depth discussion with it. Just Vito Corleone's family structure has like 35 people in it, like going by the Godfather wiki. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a ton of people in there, so there's a whole lot more to go off of. And then um, let me see. Marcellus. Wallace because I feel like Marcellus Wallace has more people than we are actually shown but I'm wondering they don't help um, a lot of some random dude on the bike comes and basically murders every single major member of his gang <laughs> yeah. and that's another reason like the Corleones would never let that happen but like some dude who owed him money decided I'm going to go and take care of this and you know Thanks to certain circumstances, manages to kill one of his, you know, better hit man, and then manages to find Marcel's and he kills him. So it's like that was just some random dude with a gun who managed to do that. Wasn't that wasn't like some organized organization of like people who were like, we do this regularly. This is some dude who's like, I borrowed money once where like I I you know won a fight I wasn't supposed to, and now I'm gonna kill the dude, and then he does. Yeah, the um yeah, I'm looking at the um, the Pulp Fiction Wiki, or the Pulp Fiction Wiki Wiki, as it's called. Um, it says Marcellus Wallace is... Um, who he's got with him is he's got Mia Wallace as his wife, but then he's... It says he's the boss of 
Vincent, Jules, Butch, the um, Bruce Willis character, and then many other unknown gangsters. Um, How many of them? It just says many. Um, Evidently not enough to stop being murdered by Butch. (laughs) Yeah, so... Well, I mean, Butch, Butch didn't murder Marcellus Wallace. They did. It's been no, a while. it's been a while since I've watched it. I thought he it's did. The iconic, the iconic uh, scene in the pawn shop with the uh, with the gimp. Um, Marcellus Wallace and Butch are both taken hostage by these uh, rapists. Oh yeah, yeah. And then he, does, he, he doesn't Butch die breaks there. out. And decide, but he decides that instead of just leaving, he can't leave. Um, he can't leave Marcellus Wallace like that. So he gets the he gets the katana. Then he goes and then uh, then kills the rapist, and they leave one alive for Marcellus Wallace to do um, obscene to murder, to murder himself. Um, Marcellus Wallace lives by the end of oh, okay. Vin- Vincent is the one that dies. Okay. I will also say then, I guess, then my argument would be, since uh, since you jogged my memory with that scene, is the fact that, like, this crime boss got taken hostage very easily. <laughs> Albeit, it wasn't for very long, just long enough for yeah. some obscene things to happen to him. But... He didn't have a shotgun to the head. Yeah. But, to be fair, if this was the Corleone family, they probably wouldn't even put themselves in that position. This is true. With. The um, I think I think how it all comes up is that Butch just happens to stop at a at a stoplight. Yeah, he almost hits Jonas him. Wallace is, is like crossing the is crossing the street and he's got like a box of donuts or something. And and then they they go from there. Now, granted, as far as uh, numbers go, it looks the Corleone family has like thirty five members at least that are at least uh, named and listed on the. Uh, on the wiki here and the marcellus wallace gang it has four so yeah. in terms of numbers yeah but mm-hmm. how about in terms of just like let's try a different scenario then what if let's say we got the whole marcellus wallace gang and then they all they have to do is get to uh Vito or michael they won't well, be able to and even if they did, I don't think the Corleone family would let them live t- to see the see tomorrow if they did, because it's a it's a family. So at the end of the day, like they're going to murder them because they killed one of their own. So it'd be one of those things like, yeah, we killed their leader. Well, congratulations, uh, hell hath no fury like the Corleone sco- scorned. You're screwed. <laughs> and the Corleones are very good at taking people out in the open because you know they're gangsters they're the mafia yeah. so i think even if they did manage to uh kill um kill the head of the corleone families um in either one i'm pretty sure the corleones would just be like, all right, right. your your death wish because I, I i think it just comes down to like while marcel's gang obviously is meant to be intimidating and you know obviously big where he is it's not the mafia and it's not as organized and he puts, and then Marcellus, if Marcellus goes down, all these guys are basically just bought. So, like, they wouldn't go out for revenge. But, oh, well, um, hey, can I work for you guys now, Corleone family? I guess you would say it's more of a, it's more of a crew than it is a, a proper mafia, mafia or gang. Mafia. Yeah, mafia. Um, it's more, it's, it's more like, it's more thug activity than organized crime. Is, is that what you're saying? Yep. You would say probably because they they don't seem to deal with a lot of like crazy affairs or anything. It's not like they're robbing banks or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Going against they're rival gangs. Yeah. They, they're, I mean, truthfully, we don't really know what Marcellus Wallace actually does. Like, we don't know if he's a drug guy. We don't know if he's like a robber or a hitman or mm-hmm. whatever. Uh, all we know is that he's got um, he's got Jules and Vincent, uh, and assuming for this scenario he's still got Butch doing his bidding, he does have a pretty strong. Uh, he's got a fighter with him, but you know he can't he can't stop a bullet. I was about to say, be like, I don't know if you've seen a Tommy gun, friends. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine uh, thirty of them. 
-hmm. I was hoping this would end up being more of a debate, but then I I didn't realize that Marcellus Wallace just had four named people on his on his. Side. I, I thought he had more too. I thought I could have sworn like he had bodyguards in one scene or something. But yeah, once again, I well, remember I, there being other people when he talks to Butch, like at the at the ring, like when he goes in there. I I feel like I remember there being other people. Uh, okay, this this is actually how I would put it. Marcellus Wallace isn't a you know uh who's ahead of Corleone's again I, I keep forgetting his name um uh, Vito Vito is the give him one off where they can't refuse yeah. but then saying, after Marcellus, he Wall dies. Marcellus Wallace isn't a yeah. Vito Vito would not have called Bruce Willis's character in Pulp Fiction no. the guy under Vito would call the character oh um, yeah yeah that is true his um the the underboss is the consigliere um all of those but we also have um uh and then we have so that that's veto but then after veto uh dies uh spoilers for a uh like 50 year old 50 year old i'm done i'm done darth vader dies in endgame i can't believe this i'm leaving nope spoilers for a 50 year old movie that's uh for halfway through the movie when veto dies and michael takes over um, it does become very different because Michael is about that life. Mm. Um, Michael was not a as much one to like go in the background and do stuff. He was definitely more of a man of action. I will say that like uh, that if he puts himself in unnecessary risk like Marcellus Wallace does, there is a chance. But then you still have to contend with the fact that, yes, you got rid of the head of their crime family. But now it's a crime family. At the end of the day, if you don't kill all of them immediately they're going to get revenge and they will get it when you least expect it if marcellus wallace dies they the gang just splits up because nobody's related they're all paid off they all they only owe their loyalty to money mm -hmm. and occasionally fear for marcellus wallace i mean jules ends up quitting that's what i mean like he just quits he, he just walks up like i quit yeah. Like that, you can't do that in the Corleone family. You say you quit, but well, you know what happens when you, you know when yeah, you quit. When, is there? Well, let me pose this scenario, this uh, question then, because I I would like this to be a little bit more of a debate, because th this seems like a curb stomp so far. Although I will, I will say how it goes. Like, let's say they just had a no holds barred, like a, a gang war or something. I definitely think Marcellus Wallace's crew is a lot more cruel. Then the Corleones are because yeah. there's a little bit more respect in there. I feel like if they were to have one, the Corleones would give them more of a chance to be like, hey, think about what you're doing just for a second. <laughs> like, we'll give you a shot. Like, the, you know, the old horse head type deal. Because they, yeah. they could have just yeah. killed that guy who, who owned the horse, but they didn't. They were just like, hey, here's a warning. Um, mm. And then and, and Marcellus Wallace's gang is much more of a let's just go and, you know, yeah, because they're hired guns. They're yeah. not a family. So, but even then, it's like, as soon as they realize that offer will not be reciprocated by their foes, the Corleones being the mafia, which, be, all right, all we, don't right. Need deal, we don't need to deal with the rival okay. game. And, and, and here's the thing with, like, the Corleones. Marcellus Walls would just kill the person who was the money or, you know, anyone across them like that. The Corleones, they follow uh, the, the, the 48 Laws of Power, where it's like, you destroy your enemy completely. Yeah, you burn after you're done killing them all. You burn the house and then you burn the ground where the house was. There's you a whole the fields, you scorched deep, earth. Very deep mafia mm -hmm. stuff. So I guess my question is: Is there any scenario you could see that at least makes this even? Corleone family, most of them had died out, and there's only like the kids who just basically stopped wanting to be a part of the mafia. Yeah, exactly. That because so, at, it. At this point, probably the only way I can, that's the only way I can imagine it. Or if somehow the Corleones took, like, did the, okay, this is only written in here for plot, and somehow the Corleones were all in the same place at the same time with no defense, like another wedding or something, and they didn't have their hitman or their guys there, mm -hmm. and every single one of them was taken out at once somehow. Yes. So, and the thing is with Marcel as well is if he did do that, the family in Italy, you know, 
Oh yeah, yep. you don't want to mess. How with, would they uh, retaliate? Don't want to mess with the Sicilians. Exactly. They would all. They would just yeah. send their murderer murderers after. Them. Then it's a war. Then it's like all the other. U.S. government's just there. like. Ah, man, goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, <laughs> how about this then? Um, let's take. Um, I believe the comment suggestion. Well, well, let's. Let's just go with the tops then. So let's say, just for the sake of example and for the sake of making a fair match, um, that we've got Marcellus Wallace and his gang of like his named people. So, um, Butch, uh, Jules. Butch, Jules, Vincent, and uh, let's throw the wolf in there, the cleanup guy. Mm-hmm. And uh, let's throw the Tarantino character in there. I forget what his name is. We know Tarantino characters could die. He always does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then for the Corleones, let's say it's just um, we've got Vito, and then we've got Sonny, Michael, and uh, Bit. We've got Sonny and Michael, and then assuming that Vito dies, then we've got Fredo and uh, Peter. Fredo. Um. It, if it was that if it was that scenario then i think marcellus wallace has yeah that. The, he has better operatives because they're yeah. hitmen specifically right. and the corleone family while they're dangerous they are dangerous because of their connections and their size because they are a mafia right so they don't have the same kind of skills like say jules uh has funny does get picked yeah. off really bad in that movie Mm-hmm. Um, so, Sonny's so, the one that ends up getting stopped at like the traffic, like the toll booth, and then they just light him up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so it might it might honestly come yeah. down to the circumstance, but I think if it's just like you're in an open area, and you know there's some cover here and there, and you know basically it's you know it's a Nerf gun war essentially, but with real guns, you know, I think Marcellus Wallace's gang wins just because they have a the ones that are named are higher, more skilled. Because they yeah. don't just spray and pray like the Corleones do. Because that was, you know, that's... You shoot everyone in the adjacent vicinity so there's no witnesses and you move on. Right. So I oh, think well, in terms of that, I'd probably say the Corleones would lose. But if we're talking like gang-on-gang gang warfare, which is how it would go, the Corleones would win 10 times out of 10. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, it's pretty cut and dry that the Corleones would win unless we pull enough strings that it's just like the top of the Corleones, but then in the end it's um, a bunch of like, you know, tough guys from the street that are in their like 20s and 30s versus a bunch of really old dudes. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> so it, it's like that. Um, unless we do like Michael Corleone, it's a little bit more even just because you know michael's the younger one he's the al pacino one um but it's pretty cut and dry uh real quick um because we didn't touch on this how how would they come together i would say it's simply just um one of them is trying to expand there other than time travel you we don't don't rely on that crutch on this show time travel i would say let's say marcellus wallace wants to uh tries to expand himself I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He tries to expand like the business. Ends up in the Corleone territory. And that's really enough to set off the Corleones. It's like, oh, another gang dares to come in here. All right. Yep. Here's our peace offering to join us and work for us. No. Well, well, rip. <laughs> or um, where does Pulp Fiction take place? Is it like San Francisco? 90s in Los Angeles. LA? Okay. Um, or one of the Corleones yeah. just happens to travel to Los Angeles. They end up meeting their fate at the hands of uh, Jules and Vincent somehow. Like they piss off Marcellus Wallace in a little bit, but of course the family has to avenge the one guy. Yep. <laughs> and then that's that's really how it goes. You always have you always have to be careful where you're shooting. Yeah. They, but even then, in The Godfather, they do it like nice too. Because remember when they kill the dude in the restaurant? Mm-hmm. Like he just he shoots the guy in the head and then just leaves and then it's right. never even mentioned again. It's that it's that easy. Yeah. Also, I got I got a suggestion on how 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 they meet. Okay. I got a suggestion. So, Marce- Marcellus Wallace 
finds one of the infinity gems. I call them gems because fuck it. And uh, this is time one. He uses the time and space one because you know when you use them both together. Space and stuff. Why you always gotta? Anyway, why you always so gotta, he uses the time yeah. and space why gems to be like yo. That's all the time we have for tonight. I'm going to use them. I'm going to use these two things to take over it all. And then, right, they go ahead and go back in time and try to take over, you know, the Goffage Mafia family. But then, you know, there's there's some time stuff because of the fact that they're there. You know, that's, a, that's just a suggestion. All right. You know, we don't rely on the time travel crutch on this show. We don't do time travel. We don't do portals. That's how this works. Time travel. Ch- Chmitty's not You've impressed. been on the show before. You know how this goes. Time travel. Chmitty's well, not impressed, thanks guys. thanks for joining me on the Corleone versus Marcellus Wallace journey. <laughs> I love, let's, uh, oh, let's, yeah. let's jump right into the next one because I feel like you guys will have a little more to say this time. <laughs>